Welcome to Joy Dalla Fashion Guide. Today's video, we are going to be making a bumper jacket. Now, for this project, you need the fabric. We'll be using this as the main body, and then we'll use this for the sleeve. So, you want to get your fabric. If you are using the same fabric for everything, then two years is enough. If not, this is two years, but I'm not going to use four. Maybe probably use one or one and a half inch from this. And then you need one yard of the plane for the sleeve. Though you may not use all, you may use end up using half inch. So let's say you may, you may use one inch here, and then you may use half inch here. And then we need the, the elastic side. So I couldn't get that. So I'm going to be using this stretching fabric for that. So we'll sew it towards the side. You see, it stretches to this side. So that is the part we'll be using. We'll not place it like this, but we'll place it like this. And then we'll be making it with the soft interline interfacing. We'll be ironing this on the lining. So this is the lining that we are using. I have three yards of lining here. You may not use all, but get at least three yards. And then we need a zipper for this project. You can use any zipper of your choice. You are making it of a tray to sew. And then our tape. We need our measurements. Of course, our scissors, our pins, and ruler. Now, for this, you can use your basic body pattern if you already have one, or you can use your shirt pattern to draft um, the pattern. Okay. This is the back pattern, this is the front pattern. So if you are using a shirt pattern, the part that you have the bottom placard, you know, we are going to have a zipper in front. So you can reduce that part to one inch. Okay, if you are using a shirt pattern, you reduce it to one inch. You can also use a basic body pattern. If you are using a basic body pattern, the parts that you would have used for the back, you know, the back usually have zipper allowance. You will not use that one for the front. And then the one without zipper allowance will not be for the back. So I'm going to be drafting directly on my fabric. Now to know the amount of fabric to put on fold, because it's a free wear, we are going to be making use of the bust measurement. So quarter of the bust measurement plus two inches of ease and then one inch seam allowance. So I'm working with a bust of 40, quarter of that is 10 inches. So I'll add two inches of ease to that, which is 12, and then one inch seam allowance, which is 13. And then I need one inch for zipper in front and that will be 14. So I'm going to be using 14 inches to cut out my fabric. And then the length of the jacket, the jacket is going to be 25 inches long and then the design at the bottom part so you can decide how you want it so you can make it uh, two and a half or three inches or the, uh, the height of the bands that you are working with so I'm going to be making mine um, two and a half either two and a half or three inches is okay so I just cut this out now and then so this is the back pattern 13 inches this is the front pattern I have 14 and a half so, so if it's 14 it's okay then the zipper allowance in front is one inch so you can draft both of them together so that you can so that we can cut the shoulders together the shoulder and the neck width together so just place it on each other making sure that they align properly and then leaving the zipper allowance in front so the front is going to have the zipper so after when we are through with the pattern, we need to have two pieces for the front and then one piece for the back. A shoulder of 17. 
divided by 2, that is 8 and a half. And then a neck width of 3 inches. The shoulder slope one inch and then we connect it to so I'm drafting directly my pattern for those that don't know how to draft our basic bodies so just follow me so Whatever I have here, eight and a half, I will also repeat it here. So I mark the shoulder to the boss point. The shoulder to the boss point I'm working with is 11 inches. So two inches above the bust point will give you the chest line. Two inches above will give you the chest line. You can also use your armhole depth to get the chest line. The armhole depth from the shoulder drop, you mark your armhole depth. So the armhole depth is 8 inches, so it corresponds. You can also use the formula for the armhole depth, which is uh, bus divided by 6 plus 1.5. And then I'll go ahead and mark half of the armhole depth, which is four inches. Or you can just simply mark your tip there at the four inches point. So to get a perfect curve, adhere diagonally, come out by one inch. So that you just come like this. You can also use your fresh cork. So when you measure here, okay, to get a perfect cork, you make it one and a half. But for the back, for the front, you make it one inch. But for the back, one and a half. So this is for the back uh, ample. When we are going to, after cutting the back ample, we are going to go in in the front ample with half inch and recurve uh, the ample. Then for the neck depth, for the front, we are using one inch. And then for the back, we are using one inch, and then for the front, we are using three inches. So this is for the front, and then this is for the back. So after cutting out the, the back, we will record the front. We are almost done. So the next thing that we need for this bumper jacket, we are going to make use of the bust uh, measurement. Okay, it's a free wear, so it will not be needed the waist, it will not be making use of uh, the hip because it's a free wear and it's supposed to just uh, be free on your body. Another way you can get the freeness on your chest line, on the bust line, is to use your 
exact hip measurement and just place it on the bust uh, on the bust and they just mark it straight down okay that is another way to determine your measurement so this is our bust line this is our bust and then we have the length so i have a total length here i have 23 inches so when we are true we are going to end with 22 and then the black band will come in out and our jacket will end at 25. so on this um bust line i have my 10 inches plus the two inch uh, is allowance that is 12 inches so I'll repeat the same 12 inches at the base. And I connect that. And then one inch, same allowance. So for this pattern, I'm not doing shoulder drop. Okay, so if you like, you can use a shirt pattern and do your shoulder drop. But I don't want to do a shoulder drop for the style that was sent to me. There is no shoulder drop. So we'll go ahead and cut out our pattern. And then don't forget the seam allowance at the shoulder. Half inch seam allowance. I'm going to cut both with the back neckline. So I separate the front, the back, and just mark the middle. This is the middle. So I go in by half inch. So I'll just reconnect. So this is the neckline for the front. So we use this to cut out the lining piece. After cutting out the lining piece, I'll cut the front part open. So that is for the then for the sleeve. I'm using this for the sleeve. For the sleeve, I'll just use my sleeve pattern. I'll make it on my shirt sleeve pattern. Then the sleeve, the length of the sleeve. Is 24 inches 24 and then we are going to be adding a band to it we are going to be adding the 3 inches band 
so for the fabric i'll reduce the fabric by two inches so that we have 22 and then now add the bands to now be 25 so that they can be uh, some freeness on the sleeve so i'll just go ahead and cut this out now and show you so i'm going to be putting pockets in mine the pocket is going to face like this so to cut it i'll just put both of them together i'm using the lining as the i'm using the fabric as the lining as so well. So I have the length of the pocket is 7 inches, so I've cut out 8 inches because I need half inch seam allowance on both sides. And then for the height of the pocket is 6 and a half. I need half inch to fold in the upper part. Now to determine my pocket, it, the pocket length the, um, height depends on the length of your bumper jacket. There's going to be a black band here, so the pocket will stop before the band so around the waistline that's where the pocket will be so that is how i was able to determine my pocket to you so from the shoulder i have 17 here so that is where the pocket will be it will stop by close to the zipper line here so i need half inch to fold in this side half inch to fold the top and half inch to fold the side and of course the down part will be joined so the main body of the fabric so for the design of the pocket i'll mark um five and a half because i'm going to use half inch to join this i said to remain five so five and a half and then for the length i'll also mark five and a half sorry five inches and then I just connect it in the form of a triangle. the opening of the pocket will be seven inches i was supposed to cut it to the other side i made a mistake but the pocket still came out nice so after marking the five and a half i'm supposed to slant it to the op opposite side the side that i cut off was not where i was supposed to cut so that was why like the upper part was kind of small okay so you can always adjust yours so that the upper part will not be small so instead of cutting off five and a half you can cut off three and a half i'm from here okay so if you want the pocket to be very deep then you can adjust yours instead of eight you can cut yours ten and then your hand can go in very well. So you are true with all our pattern. I've used the main body to cut out the lining and also the interface. So this is the front panel. So you can also notch where the zipper will be. Okay. And then this is the back pattern. The back pattern is one piece. This is the lining, this is the interface. Then this is the sleeve. The main fabric, the lining, the interface. So we'll be cutting out the band at the arm after sewing the sleeve. Also after joining the side, the front and the back panel that is when we we'll cut out the down part the black on the down part so to sew the first thing we are going to do is to iron the interfacing on the lining 
So you want to iron, you want to iron the gummy side. Place it on it like this and iron. So you iron it on it. You do same for the sleeve and also for the front panel. After ironing the interfacing on it, we are going to join the shoulders, the front piece and the back piece. We join their shoulder. We place them right side towards each other. Like this. And then you make their shoulders to align. And then you sew it half inch, half inch, half inch. So this is the lining. You have ironed the interface. And then you have joined the shoulders and the side. So we are going to be stopping here for now. We'll work on the other parts and then. So we are going to work on the pockets first before joining the main fabric like this. So this is the pocket pieces that we cut out. Then I've cut out the black stretchy fabric. This is 2 inches by 8. 2 inches by 8 inches. So it's going to be like this. Going to be on it like this. So pin this on it. So I'm pin everything together. So I need to stitch with zero point two five, quarter of an inch. And then we are to flip it in like this. Oh, the other piece. So we have another sewing. So I'm not going to be stitching the side again. I'm going to just top stitch on top. Okay, so this is for this side and this is for this side. So just use your iron to fold in 0 0.24. 0 0.25, that is a quarter. So I'm going to use quarter. I'll fold it, fold it in by quarter, here by quarter, here also by quarter. So it's going to be on it like this. So I'll fold it in 0.25. So open the zipper along here. The zipper knows like this before you sew. So don't sew on top. So this is it after pinning. So we're going to sew like this. We'll stitch here down like this and end here. So I'll do the same for the other one. Like this, like this, like this, like this. This is what we have. And this is the pocket. So I'm going to join the shoulders. Half inch, half inch, and then the side one inch. We left one inch when we we're drafting. So we are joining the side with one inch. So here is the front piece. I've joined it at the shoulder and side. It's already looking beautiful. And here is the line. This is going to be inside like this. So 
So I'm going to be attaching the black to the damp part. I've cut out a strip. I wasn't able to get it because I'm using stretchy fabric. So you cut it to the side that is stretchy. See, this side is not stretchy. Or this side is stretchy. So this, that is the part that will go around the bottom. Okay. I have a on four that I have 18 on the half. So I've reduced it. Here I have about um, let's say 50. That is 25 on fold. Okay, 48. That is 24 on fold. So we have I've reduced 24 to 18 and a half. So that means I've removed them. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Let's say six inches. Six inches of fold, so that is 12. So the amount to remove depends on how elastic you are working with, how elastic the fabric is that you are working with, just like the way you use your regular elastic. Okay, so you can cut five inches on fold, four inches on fold depending on how elastic it is okay so whatever you cut you can always measure it around the body to see see by the time i stretch it it will be like this so you can always measure so you are going to be attaching it to this so we are going to end with something like this unfold so the height of this of is a uh, seven inches which is three and a half so after sewing we are going to end with three inches so half inch is for seam allowance okay it's three and a half so after sewing it will be three inches okay so This is how I had a notch the middle. I've notched the middle and then take note of the side as well. This is the wrong side, this is the right side. So the right side to the right side of this. You place it. Remember that we are going to stretch it because it's shorter than the main fabric. So this is the midpoint, so you also place the midpoint against midpoint like this. Just match it. So when we finish, it's going to be under. It's going to be like this. Do you get? So you are sewing with half inch seam allowance. So you place it like this. And then you see it's shorter. It's shorter by five and a half. So you take this, you place it here like this. And then so you are going to stretch it when sewing. Okay, that's why I get to sew to the end. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to repeat the same for the lining. So, right side against right side like this. I'll show it the down part. This is what it looks like. So, we want to sew in a way that the same we align. You see this on the line matches with this, and then this 
matches with this. So it's going to be like this. It's going to be like this. Okay. So I'm going to set this aside and then I'm going to work on the sleeve. So we're going to be sewing the sleeve just like we sew the side. This is the right side. So I've reduced the sleeve. The base of the sleeve now is now 15. Let's say 16. So the armhole length is 10 and a half. It's 10 and a half. And then the seam allowance is now 1 inch. Okay, so right side against right side. This is the right side, like this. So you match the notches. So create notches to help you out. You fold into two, you notch the middle. You fold again, you notch. You do the same for the base so that it will be easy to stretch when you are stretching the elastic fabric. Then right side against right side, the middle notch against the middle notch, like this. And then you pin. You take the side to the side, like this. Side to side. They also match this other notch. Match it like this. Match this. So you sew with half inch, so as you are sewing, you stretch it like this, you sew, you stretch, you sew, you stretch, you sew, you stretch, you sew. So once you are true with that, with the main fabric, then you also repeat same with the lining. This is the lining, right side of the lining. This is the right side. Place it on it like this. So right side are facing right side. Then you make the notches to match. So you notch the lining as well. So this is the easiest way to sew. You match the side to the side. Side to side. Then notch against notch. Notch against notch. Turning the pin towards the side you are going to be sewing from. So you are sewing from this side. So that as you sew along, you remove the pins. So you sew like this half inch. Then after that, you place like this. Making sure that they match. Okay. So ten and a half. So we are sewing with one inch seam allowance. 
So you use your paint to hold it. So this is how you are going to place it. Just and then you sew one inch. But when you get to this, you will sew it one and a half. So that when you end, you end with four inches. Okay, so mark one and a half. So when you slant your hands, then you just continue. You continue. So when you sew like that, you are going to have something like this. You are going to have this. This is the other one I've sewn it. You see, I sew one inch before, but after checking it, I see that the elastic did not grip the wrist very well. So I increased the same on only the elastic by half inch. So right now, I now have four inches instead of four and a half. So I have four inches. So that's how I get to sew. So you see, you slant it and then continue with the one inch. Do the same here. One inch, then you slant it into. You must have marked half inch, a one and a half here. Mark one and a half here. Okay. So this is the main fabric. This is the line. The way you are true, you are going to bring it inside out like this. Feel up. The sleeve is ready. So the next thing will be to fix the zip. So the example of how the zip is going to be on it. So the zip is going to be on it like this. Let's see. Like that inside. And so use your chalk. So place it such that you are going to sew here. So let me use pin to hold it. Taking note of the same allowance. So just take your time. This is a zipper allowance here. And then this the folded edge when you iron we serve as a guide. So when you are placing this. You place it, let me open the zip so that you see it well. You place this like this, close to this zipper line. Okay. And then the lining will be over it. Like this. So that only the teeth will show. So if it will confuse you, then... So on only the main fabric first. Just place it on, place only the zipper on the main fabric like this. Place it on it like this and so then then when you are true you now bring the lining over it like this okay with the folded edge as a guide you place it over it again and then sew again okay So let me use the pin to show you. Finish. Now turn this out. So 
So when you turn it out, you are going to have something like this. You see? This is what you are going to have. So we ended at two and a half. So that means we, I need to adjust this way. You see, this side is longer. So I'll adjust the black again. Adjust it way before I sew. So this is what you are going to end with. This is how it's going to be. See? So that so we we'll sew the second side, the other side of the zip, like this. And then we'll be ready to attach the sleeve. So once we attach the sleeve, we put in the neck and then our bumper jacket is ready. So this is what we have. We'll fix the zip in place. Yeah, so this our pockets. So I've attached one of the sleeve. I'm going to be showing you how I attach the sleeve. And then we'll attach the sleeve and fix the collar. And then we are done. So to attach the sleeve, we we'll open it up like this. We we'll turn this to the wrong side. So we are going to be working on the main lining only first. So just pull this. So you take the sleeve, put it inside. This is inside is the right side. This is the right side. So you are also going to work on the main fabric only. So push the lining inside. Match this same line to the same line of the main fabric. So match this to this. Match it like this. Making sure that the same line align. Then the shoulder. This is the shoulder line of the main fabric. You also mark, you must have notched the sleeve at the middle, so match it to the shoulder, like this. And then just mash up like this and pin in place. So after pinning like this, go ahead and sew round. I'll come back to show you what it looks like. So I finished sewing it round. This is what you have. See, the seam aligned. So I'm going to be sewing the lining up. So 
we'll turn this like this. So you are going to be mashing shoulder to shoulder as well. This is the line part. You fold it like this, you notch here. So you are going to match here to the shoulder. So you are going to be matching right side to right side. So like this. Then we match here to here. So, we sew it round half inch. So, this is what we have after sewing. So, so this is what we have after attaching the sleeve. So it's left with the collar and then we are done. So you measure what you have on the collar. Measure from one end of the collar to the other end. And then you're going to cut out the black uh, fabric, stretchy fabric. So I had 19 and a half and then I cut out the fabric. Then I subtract, I had, let me say, approximately 20 inches. And then I'm shortening it by two inches. So I have 18 inches here. And then the width is three inches. So that after sewing, we are going to fold it like this to sew. So that when we are through, this is one and a half. So that when we are through, it will be left to one inch. So, Fold it. This is the wrong side, this is the right side. So fold it into two like this, and then we are going to fold again. So you notch the middle. Notch the middle. And then for the edge, you are going to curve it. So fold it together like this. So you are going to curve it down. Measure like two inches or so two and a half, and then you make a curve. Just blend it in. So this is what we have. 
So create an opening on the lining where we are going to pass through to sew the neckline. So any side, you can use any side. opened here so I'm going to pass through here to the to inside so after bringing it out from the inside I went ahead to measure again the collar is going to stop here before the zipper so I measured again from there And I have 18. So I've reduced, since it's a stretching fabric, I've reduced it again by one inch. So I now have 17. So I now have 17 inches. And then I've notched it at the middle. So I'm going to pin it to be in between the main fabric and the lining inside so that by the time we flip it in this part will not be showing so let me show you i'm just using pin to hold the fabric down So don't forget this is the right side so the middle this is the middle so i put this inside i already notched the middle so i put it in like this and then i match the all the three the middles together the lining middle the collar and then the main fabric like this and then i use the pin to hold it in place so that's what I'm going to do until I've pinned to this side. So this is what we have after pinning it. Then you go ahead and stitch. You close it off from here. You close the zipper from here to the end. Then after I should cut off the excess. So I'll flip it to the right side to show you what we have, and that will be all for the bumper jackets. Please support my channel like my video share my video and please subscribe to this channel this is joy dala fashion so here is the final look of our bumper jackets this is joy dala fashion guide please subscribe to my channel like my video share my video this is joy dala fashion guide mm -hmm.